Okay, so it's been a week. I've tried these out and I can give some of my initial impressions. Uh, what I did is I had 24 Tau that I started working on and I did uh, some with the grips, the two different kinds of grips, uh, some without just with the bases. Uh, and I did them uh, interspersed so I do a few with and then a few without. Uh, so different levels of uh, fatigue uh, and uh, could compare them uh, you know across kind of fatigue levels. Uh, what I found was that they are very comfortable. Um, you know, this, this grip is pretty comfortable um, and then these are actually very comfortable to work with. Uh, now as I'm actually using them uh, what I found actually was I could get the most control just holding it by the base and working like this because uh, in close. Uh, so while this was more comfortable I had a lot more uh, kind of random brush, brush strokes off uh, that I'm going to have to go back and touch up. Uh, so um, basically a uh, little more actually difficulty and I think what it is is it's uh, just the distance uh, from the model as opposed to being in tight for detail work. Uh, I did not see that as much with this grip and I think it's probably because I held it more like this. Um, I did not see a whole lot of difference at fatigue levels between them. I didn't see preventing a lot of fatigue. Um, so, you know, bottom line, very comfortable to use, uh, but I did have more off brush strokes that I'm going to have to do touch-ups on. Um, now, I just intermixed them, so I can't show you one with one, one without. Uh, so I'm not going to be able to do that as a straight comparison. I did not uh, think to do that till halfway through. Um, other thoughts on them? Um, wow, I think I had a lot more control uh, with the base holding it like this. I think... These would be good for uh, models that you've got parts on pins. I think it would be very useful uh, for things that don't have a base that you can grip. Because basically, the, the base is just acting like the grip uh, in this form. But if you have ones um, and you just use them with you know, just the straight cork and pins, if you have pinned things, um, or even prob probably uh, you know, ones that are still on uh, their slot, uh, without being put in a base, I think this would be better. Um, I think that if you're doing a very long one, I'll have to try it out. If you're doing a model, uh, you know, beginning to ending uh, in a one session, might be very useful. Um, what it would not is not useful for uh, really to do uh, assembly line kind of painting where you're doing one part, then doing another part. So okay, I'm doing all the blue little blue bits, then I need to go to a next one and do blue bits. Um, while these are incredibly easy to pop in and out, um, unless you have enough of the corks uh, for everybody, uh, you're going to be you know, popping them in and changing them out of the corks, so it does disrupt workflow some. Is it doable? Yeah, it's doable. Um, but I think from an assembly line standpoint of you know, large common minis, probably not worth it, but you could because it is pretty quick, and if you... You know, if you had 20 of these and you're just popping them in and out of, you know, five of the bases, you could do it relatively quickly. Um, and then, like I said, I think it would be uh, very useful for things that you've got on a post or a wire because um, it does give you, uh, probably give you more stability with those. Uh, so, really, that is my initial thoughts. Um, I actually found it a little harder to paint with this than I do just holding it by the base. Um, and I don't think I would use it for assembly line painting, but uh, I'm going to have to do some more experimenting with it with some larger models. Um, and when I'm doing, you know, one model uh, for uh, top to finish. Uh, so is it worth uh, the money? Uh, let me see. I bought this whole big set for 160 euro for you know everything in the box. Three of these, I think five of these, um, and you know a bunch of various corks, uh, uh, but only four of this size cork. If I knew then what I knew now, I would have probably made them all this size. Um, so. You know, I would not jump straight out and buy a whole bunch. I might buy one and try it out. Um, 
So I know that that's not a resounding negative or a positive. Uh, I can see where it would have its uses, um, but for just day-to-day -day painting, I probably would not find myself using it. I think it's just easier to, uh, you know, get here by just doing your piece, grabbing the next one by the base, uh, and it was a little problems. I like I said, I did not have the stray strokes here, but I did have the stray strokes here, and I think it. It may just be because I'm not used to being farther away. Uh, I'm used to having my hand really in tight. Um, could it prevent fatigue? I do a, I do think if oh, you're doing a long session, it probably would be easier um, and, and not get as fatigued, maybe stop some of the shakes. Um, but I didn't notice that in doing 24 towel warriors. Uh, generally doing 12 one style, 12 the other. I would, you know, four. Then I'd do four with a base, then flip it out, do another four, four with a base, flip them out four, four with a base. So uh, those are my thoughts. Um, I don't see myself using this a lot. Um, I do think from a display standpoint, these are really nice. Um, but uh, since right now I'm focusing on a lot of big armies, uh, these will probably go back in a box until I start doing some real detail work. Uh, and then I'll try it out again. So not saying... It's not a big no, but it's not a resounding yes either. I uh, hate to waffle on you, but I uh, think that's about the best I can do. No to assembly line painting major jobs may be useful in another couple areas, and I think definitely useful if you do a lot of pinned small models or small pieces uh, before you glue them together. So uh, that's my opinion. Um, if after another few weeks I've worked on them some more and I have a different opinion, I will come back and post some additional comments.